Hi guys, welcome to Trey Jossie channel. Kids, welcome to quarter two, week nine, day two. For today's objectives are describe some types of beneficial interaction among living things and to differentiate mutualism from commensalism. Come on, let's have fun while learning. To begin with, Please bring out your notebook for a review. Put a check mark if the statement shows interaction among living things and cross mark if not. I'll give you 5 seconds to answer. Go! Let's check your answers. For number 1, the correct answer is check. For number two, check. Number three, check. Number four, X. And number five, check. I do hope you got a perfect score. Another brain twister? Please arrange the following jumbled letters to form the hidden words. Let's check your answers if you got it correctly. For number one, the correct answer is harmful. Number two, it is beneficial. Number three, you're right, it is effects. Number four, organisms. And last number, yes, it is in action I do hope you got another perfect score and now it's time for your group activity it was entitled are they meant for each other here are your materials we have activity notebook pictures of living things and the ball pen please follow the procedures given in your activity and then kindly complete the table okay here is your first guide in answering your activity so under picture a we have the butterfly and flowers please answer also the guide questions given on your activity sheet for picture b we have plants and fish but don't forget to answer the guide question for picture C, it is a branch of a tree and an orchid. Again, reminders, please answer the guide questions. And for the last picture, you are going to use the picture D, which is branch of a tree and a bird. Okay. And now, it's time for you to present your output. Based on your answers, let's find out if you are correct. So, the type of interaction under butterfly and flowers, it is mutualism. The description should be, uh, both of them are benefited. For picture B, plants and fish, the type of interaction is mutualism. Okay, so they are both benefited. Okay, for picture C, orchids and a branch of a tree, of course, it is commensalism. So, when we say commensalism, the best description is one is benefited and the other one is not harm. For picture D, we have also commensalism, which is the bird and a branch of a tree. Okay, so it is also one is benefited and the other was not harm okay good job kids so for further understanding so let's discuss about the beneficial interactions among organisms in their environment the first one is mutualism so when we say mutualism it is an interaction of two organisms wherein both are getting benefits 
from each other. So there is a mutual interaction between the two. So we have here some examples. The first one is the plant and animal. We all know that plants give off oxygen needed by animals, while animals exhale carbon dioxide needed by plants. Another example of mutualism is the flower and bee. Okay, so the bee provided with food such as nectar or pollen and the flower gets to disperse its pollen to other plants or other term for pollination. Another example is the coral and algae. Okay, so the coral reef and the algae supply food and shelter for each other. Yeah, so they are both benefited. Another example, we have the clownfish and sea anemone. So the clownfish receive a safe place to live and in return the clownfish provide food to the sea anemone another example that we have here is the aphids and ants so the ants provide protection from predators and harsh winters while aphids provide nutrition in the form of honeydew the second example of beneficial interaction among living organisms is the commensalism. When we say commensalism, it is an interaction of organisms in which one is benefiting while the other never been affected, neither beneficially nor harmfully. The first example that we have is the tree frog and plants. So the frog gets commensal interaction from laying its eggs on the leaves of plant while the plant is not harmed or affected. Another example is the branch of a tree and bird. The bird benefits from the tree because it uses a shelter. However, the tree is neither benefited nor harmed. The last example that we have here is the tree and orchid. The orchid's roots take in nutrients and water that runs down the tree, while the tree remains unaffected. Based on our discussion, how can you describe the relationship of a species when they become beneficial to each other? Kindly describe the relationship of animals under mutualism. How about the relationship of animals under commensalism? Please describe it. So based on your own understanding, what is the difference of mutualism and commensalism? Here are the things you should remember. There are interactions where both species benefit from the relationship. We call it the mutualism. And there are also interactions where one species benefits from the other, is neither affected nor harmed. We call it the commensalism. So these interactions are beneficial or important for survival. To know better if you understood our lesson, let's have an activity or sit work. Write B for beneficial if the effect being described in the following interactions among organisms is good and NB if not beneficial. Let's check your answers for number one, aphids on the flowers. The correct answer is NB or not beneficial because it is an example of Harmful interactions. For number two, a heron feeding on a carabao's body, it is B or beneficial because they both benefited. Okay, number three, too many fishes inside a small aquarium, it is and B or not beneficial because it caused harmful to the fishes. Okay, number four, orchids attached on a on a tree trunk, okay, the answer is beneficial or B. And number five, cattle being attacked by lioness, okay.
Okay, the answer is NB are not beneficial because it's also an example of harmful interactions among living organisms. So, I do hope you got a perfect score. For your assignment, kindly discuss the given situations below. You're going to write your answers on your notebook. So, honey comes from the result of interaction between bees and flowers. Describe its effects to humans. That's all for today, kids. Thank you for listening. Stay safe, everyone. God bless. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share. Please also click the subscribe button. Thank you.